Welcome back to this series where we're going to connect our Angular 2 or Vue.js frontend to our Laravel backend and see how Laravel and Angular 2 or Vue.js can work together. Now we created our Laravel backend in the last video. Now it's time to create our Angular 2 frontend and to connect it. I got a brand new Angular 2 application created with the CLI. I only removed some content in the app component, which we have there by default, added the dev here with the ID app instead. And in the index.html file, I added this import to get bootstrap to get some basic styling. Now with that, what I want to do is I want to start by creating a couple of components. So I'll use the CLI for that and generate or just G a new component or just C. And then we'll need a quote component for an individual quote in our list of quotes. So that's something I'll create. Then I'm going to create a quotes component holding that list of single quotes. And I'll add a new quote component to be able to create a new quote. Guess what? So that gave me those three new folders. There I'll quickly remove these back files. Could have also adjusted the CLI command, but whatever. And with that, we get our base, well, skeleton or the files we need for now. Let's fill them with some life. So in the app component HTML file, I want to use the bootstrap grid. And for that, I'll create a new div with the class container, then row, and then call XS12 to have a 12 uh, column broad, um, well, column here. I guess a full screen column basically on all devices, on all screen widths. And in there, I want to place a router outlet. Now we haven't added the router yet, we will do so soon. So this will be the place where I want to render either the quotes component with all the quotes or the new quote component. And for this to work, I'll copy this row here, add a horizontal line and in the top row, I won't have the router outlet here when I want to have some links instead. So here I will have a link which leads to the quotes and one which allows me to add a new quote. So to switch between the two pages, I'll set up. So there I will add the router links as soon as I created the routes. That is my first page here, the, the app component for now. And in the CSS file, I also added this app or this, this little style here for the wrapping container with the ID of app to give it some margin to not sit on the edges. So this is the app and just as a side note, I will of course also add the finished app as a download to this project in the video description. Now with this set up, let's go to the quote component to create a single quote. Here I'll add the panel class bootstrap gives me and then also the panel default class to make a default panel to just have this quote well stand out a bit and just have a nice border and so on. And in there I'll leave the uh, lead the panel body where I want to output the quote content. Well quote is some object I haven't created as a property yet but I will do so in a second and I will have a panel body there too. Now in the panel body, and these are all just bootstrap classes, keep that in mind. In the panel body, I want to have a couple of links to edit, save and so on. But I'll come back to this. Let's work on that quote here. I'm referring to some quote property, which I haven't added yet. And this quote property seems to have a content property. So it seems to be an object. Because it makes sense, I guess, we're creating quotes, each quote will have an ID and a content, so why not pack it into an object. And for this, I will create an interface to have some kind of blueprint of how a quote should look like in my Angular 2 application. So I'll create this quote.interface.typescript file in my root folder. And in there, I'll simply export, not a class, an interface, which I'll name quote. And here I'll define that I will have a content of type string and an ID of type number. That's all. This is my quote interface. And this now allows me to go to my quote component, add this new quote property, which will be of type, not quote component, just of type quote. So of this newly created interface. Therefore, I also need to add the import up here. 
So this gives me the quote object, the quote property here in the individual quote component. Of course, I want to have more than one quote and I want to loop through all the quotes. So time to go to the quotes, plural, component here to the template of that component to be precise and use our app quote selector, the selector of this single quote component as set up here and loop through it. So add a ng4 loop to loop through all the quotes we got here, referring to the quotes property, which of course I haven't created too. So let's add it to the quotes component here, simple a quotes property, which is of type quote, also add the import here, but not a single quote, instead a quote array. So now the quotes component get a property called quotes, holding an array of quotes, following our blueprint as set up in the quote interface. Now with that, I can loop through all the quotes, output it here, and well, therefore create a couple of quote components, one for each quote we're getting from the server. Talking of getting, well, let me also add a horizontal line above that list and a button, which will receive the button button primary classes, bootstrap classes to get quotes. And here I will call a method called on get quotes once we click on it. This will allow me to reach out to the server and fetch all the quotes. Well, now with that, we get the basic setup for getting quotes. And keep in mind, we already got one quote in our database because we created that quote in the last video when we created the backend. So no need to hook up the edit, delete and so buttons and the the add new quote page that's not needed. Instead, let's see if that works as it should if we're able to get quotes. Now for it, I will still need to set up the routing though because I already want to set all the pages up as they should be in the end or at least the structure of the pages. So I'll add a new file, the app.routing.ts file. And in there, I will create a new constant named app routes. This name is up to you, which will be of type routes holding all the application routes here. And this is just an array of objects as you probably learned in one of my other videos or in some other resource in the internet. And here I will have a path and I need an empty path for my root route for the default route. And here I wanna load the quotes component and I will add a second route. Don't forget to add those imports by the way. The second route will lead to the new quote path. And as the name suggests here, I will load the new quote component, also add that import. And of course, also make sure that if you're not using the CLI, you manually add all your quotes to the app module, to the declarations array. So with that, the routes are set up. Now let's export the router, the router module here import that from angular router to for root app routes to make them available and go to the app module and add it here in the imports array routing. Great. So make sure to add the import to your app routing file too. With that routing is set up and with that we would almost be able to see that but right now might change again. I'm not sure. I also need to set the type for this exported const there in the routing file. And this is of type module with providers, which needs to be imported from at angular core. I'm not sure if this is intended because normally TypeScript should be able to infer this from, well, this router module for root method. But right now I need to add it to not get an error. So after saving, this should now recompile. I got the server already running. And now we see, looks good. This is the get quotes component. Of course, we don't see any quotes because we're not reaching out to the server yet. This is what I want to work on next. So to reach out to the server, I will create a new service for this. I'll name it quote service and I'll also place it in the root file, root folder, excuse me, and export this quote service class. I'll add the add injectable decorator here to make sure I can also inject services into this service. 
because I need access to the HTTP service, the default Angular 2 HTTP service, which I therefore import from at Angular HTTP. Now I will add a get quotes method here and simply return this HTTP get and now my URL, which is either localhost if you haven't mapped it to a different domain or since I did map it here on my system, it's Laravel ng2-view.dev slash API slash quotes. This is the API endpoint we set up in the last video in this series on our Laravel backend to get all the quotes. I also want to map the response to transform it and for this to work I need to import rxjs slash rx to unlock this map operator. Here I know I get a response of type response, response is imported from at angular http and then I can simply transform it. So here I want to return response.json and now if we have a look at the response we got back when using our Laravel backend or our API endpoint with Postman. Let's have a look here. You see we get back this JavaScript object where we then have a quotes property which actually holds the array of quotes. And I just see we did delete it so we will have to create one to see it again. But the issue or not the issue but the important thing to recognize is we're storing the quotes under a quotes property. Therefore here when we're extracting this and mapping it, I should access dot quotes on the extracted body. We're extracting the body with the JSON method. But then again quotes to really get that array of quotes and return this in the map method. So with that I'm getting all the quotes. Now it's time to go to the quotes component here where I loop through them and create the individual quotes and somehow hook up this get quote or get quotes button. So on get quotes was the method name I set up there. So let's add this. Let's also inject our quote service. So private quote service of type quote service. Here also add the import and also of course add it to the providers array in the app module quote service to make sure it is available. The angle to injector can create it. And with this setup back in the quotes component with the service injected in on get quotes, which is fired when we click that button, I want to reach out to my quote service, get quotes. And this of course is an observable, so I'll subscribe to it. And here I know I either get my array of quotes. This is when we have a successful response and I'm mapping it. So here quotes, oops, this is, just quote of course my blueprint here and then I want to use this array of quotes and we could either also log it to the console or simply set our quotes property up here equal to the quotes we're getting back. And we could also of course get a response which is an error of type response which I import here from at angular HTTP and well here I simply then want to lock this to the console so that we can investigate what's going wrong. So on get quote quotes is hooked up. In the best case we're fetching the quotes and populating our quotes property. We're then looping through all those quotes and replicate the single quote component. But there's one important thing missing. We're not passing the quote to that single quote component. In that quote component we have a quote property, but this can't be set from outside. So may, let's make it settable by adding at input here, at input in front of it, import input from at angular core. Now we can bind it from outside. And now in the quotes component here in the template, I can bind to quote with squared brackets using property binding. And I want to uh, bind the quote I'm looping through here. So now quote here between the square brackets refers to the quote property in the quote component. I'm sorry, I know that there are a lot of quotes. And the, excuse me here, and the quote here between the quotation marks in my quotes component, so plural, refers to the quote in the loop. So with that I'm looping through all the quotes and pass the individual quotes, a quote to the 
single quote component here. And with all those quotes going on, we should be able to now see that in action. Now, since we deleted all quotes in the last video, let me quickly create a new one by sending a post request with postman as shown in the last video to the slash quote API endpoint. Make sure to set the right headers here, content type application JSON and body raw here. Let's quickly create a new JSON document content will be some quote. So let's send it. Quote was created indeed. So let's get it here. We see it here. Now let's see it in our running application. Well, we don't even see a running application, do we? This is an issue kind of related to this issue with the routing where I needed to add module with providers. I'm not sure if this will stay or will be fixed if it's a bug or a feature. Right now in the quote service, I need to be very explicit about what this get quotes method is returning. And this of course is observable wrapping anything. So you need to add the import to observable from RxJS and make sure to be explicit about what you're returning here. This generally is a good practice, but again, since we are returning an observable here, normally TypeScript should be able to infer this, but I'll add it here. With this saved, we should see that our application now loads correctly. And now let's hit get quotes. Well, I don't see any quotes. Let's open up the console. And here we got an error that no access control allow origin is present. What is that? This is something which is a security feature in general. It's called cross origin resource sharing. We're having two different servers talking to each other here. Our Angular 2 application here runs on localhost 4200, as you can clearly see. And our backend clearly runs on the Laravel ng2 view dev domain, which is a different server. This is not the same. It's both on localhost, but localhost 4200 using port 4200 actually is a different domain than localhost whatever port this uses behind the scenes. So both runs locally kind of, well, this even runs in Wagrant here, so it's kind of different, but even on the same machine, a localhost with a port is not the same as localhost with no port or some other port. So two different domains. And this is a typical problem you'll encounter in such applications where your front end is served from a different server than your back end. Normally it's not allowed for both to communicate because it's kind of fishy if some other front end, some other content wants to access your back end. But we're living in 2017 now and there this is absolutely normal because we have a lot of applications which simply expose some API endpoints for different apps to connect to them. And therefore we can fix this and we will fix this in the next video because fixing this, setting up the ability for our frontend app to access our backend app when we have different servers is such a key thing that we definitely need a separate video for this as it's very interesting and something you will need in a lot of different and other use cases too. So see you there. Bye.